Okay, um, we're going to look at the application of differentiation, in particular, finding the maximum volume of an open top box, which is made by cutting corners from a rectangular piece of card. So first, we start with a rectangular piece of card. In order to make a box, we will need to take off corners of this card and the dimensions of the corners that we take off will be x by x. So we're basically cutting off square pieces from each corner. As a result, we should end up with a rectangular piece once all the edges have been folded. Which looks roughly like that. Right, now to give dimensions to this original piece of card that we're going to use to make this open top box. So let's say that the original width of the card is fifteen centimeters. And the length of the card we shall take as 24 centimeters. Okay. If we cut off square pieces from each corner of dimensions x by x, the dimension of the box that we will make from that will obviously change from the original dimensions of 15 by 24. So, what will be the new dimensions of the box that we will actually create? And to work that out, it's quite simple. We take the original dimensions and take off 2x from each side. 2x from the length, 2x from the width. So, the dimensions of the box that we will create will now be 15 minus 2x and the length will now be 24 minus 2x and the height of the box will be x so now we have the dimensions of the box that we will eventually have we need to now find the volume in terms of x so remembering how we work out the volume of a cuboid. Volume equals length times width times height. Therefore, in our case, the volume will be 24 minus 2x times 15 minus 2x times the height is x. So we've generated an expression for the volume of the open top box that we're going to make. Now, to maximize the volume, we have to use differentiation. But before we can differentiate, we need to simplify this expression. So we expand all the brackets and multiply out the x. So we will now get v becoming, leave the x outside first, multiply the two brackets, and we will get 24 times 15, 360. 24 times minus 2, minus 48x. Minus 2 times 15, minus 30x. And minus 2x times minus 2x is plus 4x squared. Okay, so we will have the following expression once we've simplified 
the inside of the bracket 360 minus 78x plus 4x squared. Multiplying in the x, we will now end up with 360x minus 78x squared plus 4x cubed. Okay, we now have the final expression for the volume of the open top box that we wanted to create from the original rectangular piece of card. Okay, having got the expression for the volume of the open top box, we need to now differentiate it. So, we do dv by dx, remembering the rules for differentiation, multiply by the power and take one away from the power. So, the first term becomes 360 minus 2 times 78, 156x, 3 times 4, 12x squared. Having differentiated it, you remember that for maximum and minimum, the derivative is equal to 0. Therefore, for max or min, dv by dx needs to be equal to 0. Right. We now make our derivative equal to 0. So, 360 minus 156x plus 12x squared equals 0. The best thing to do is always have the x squared term at the front. So we can rewrite this as 12x squared minus 156x plus 360 equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this looks quite complicated. The best thing to do is to try and simplify it. And the best way to simplify it is to divide through by a common factor. Now, if you look through this carefully, a common factor in this case would be 12. So, if we divide through by 12, we will end up with the following expression. x squared minus 13x plus 30 is equal to 0. Now this looks like a much nicer quadratic to solve. So we now proceed in solving this quadratic. So, factorizing this quadratic should give us the following factors. Okay. We will continue with this on the next page. Okay, we had the quadratic factorized as follows x minus 3 times x minus 10 equals 0. Therefore, x minus 3 equals 0, which means x is equal to 3, or x minus 10 equals 0, which means x is equal to 10. Okay, we have now two values of x which basically means that we can cut off corners from the original piece of card either 3 centimeters by 3 centimeters or 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Now, at this point, we need to basically check which of these values of x would actually give us the maximum volume for the box that we're trying to make. So, in order to do that, we will need to now di differentiate again our original differentiation expressions.